You found it like this? It was over 200 years old. It's the only one on the island. An irreplaceable natural resource. What are we supposed to do with it now? Think, do things. How many people besides yourself even know the location of this tree? Not many at all. I did tell someone about it just recently, but... But what? Who was it? Well, odd coincidence. It's carved out of wood, but it's very lifelike. Today's contest of hardiness will feature Slimehead. I just sailed up and here you were. Who are you? I'm Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. Are you alone? Do obnoxious talking skulls count? No. Then yes, I'm alone. I heard that. I'm Ned Filigree, accountant. I don't mean to be rude, it's just that I'm in hiding. You wouldn't happen to have any business records pertaining to one Stan S. Stanman, would you? What? Who told you that? I can't confirm that. I will neither confirm nor deny possession of any incriminating... Uh, I mean, I mean, it doesn't matter anyway. Stan is serving a lengthy sentence. There's no need for any more evidence against him. Simply no need. So you confirm that you deny possession of Stan's records? What? Yes. I mean, no. I confirm nothing. What difference does it make? Stan is already serving a lengthy sentence. There's no need for any more evidence against him. Who is it you're afraid of? Stan, of course. Stan Stanman. Thank goodness they locked him away on Bermuda. He'll be chipping ice in the quarry for a long, long time. I can't help but be nervous, but actually, I guess I've got decades before I really have to worry about it. You're afraid of Stan. He's always struck me as pretty harmless. Except economically. Sure, but you never can tell what someone like Stan will do. He's got no moral center. Like I said, I'm glad he's safely stuck in the Bermuda Quarry for a good long time. You must be good at math. I'm a creative accountant. Math doesn't really enter into it. You any good? Don't judge me by where I live. I've just had a few setbacks. It's all I can afford right now, but it's temporary. I'm on a quest to recover the secret of Monkey Island. That's a good move. I've heard the secret is a one-of-a-kind intangible, which means you can assign it whatever value you want to. Also, since it's very old, you can claim a lot of depreciation. Wait, are you trying to tell me I'm going to have to pay taxes on the secret? Not if you're smart about it. you deny that you have ever possessed confirmation of Stan's records? Any denial of confirmation is not to be taken as confirmation of denial. Not that I have done either one. Is it true that you deny confirming denial of non-confirmation of Stan's business records? Now you're just trying to confuse me. Are you sure you don't have any of Stan's business records? As I said before, Stan is already serving a lengthy sentence. There's no need for any more evidence against him. I'm going to explore the island a little bit. Holler if you find anything interesting. Can I have the picture? No! That would be weird. That's a mighty fine looking chest you have there. What's in it? Everything I own. 
The fruits of a man's life. The yardstick by which I'll be measured when I'm gone. It's mainly paperwork. Paperwork, huh? I'm afraid so. Paperwork, huh? I'm afraid so. Easy, Ned. He's not coming. Nothing to see but a lot of corrosion. Leave that alone! Are you sure you don't have any of Stan's business records? As I said before, Stan is already serving a lengthy sentence. There's no need for any more evidence against him. Explore the island a little bit. Holler if you find anything interesting. He's in jail for years and years. I think you might be interested in this judicial order in the case against Stan S. Stanman. Ah, what's this? Only a month? Oh no! Take these records! Get them to the courthouse on Bermuda! They'll know what to do with them. It's very damaging stuff. Stan will get 10 years at a minimum. I'd take care of it myself, but I've got to pack for witness protection. Oh, goodness! Can I have the picture? Not now. I'm packing. Can I help you pack? I can handle it. Just take that evidence to the court on Bermuda. expert, but this stuff looks as shady as an oak tree in a cave. This should be enough evidence to lock Stan up for a very long time. Your Honor, I submit these highly prejudicial and incriminating financial documents as Exhibit A in Everyone v. Stan. The evidence is so entered. Hmm. The court requires that Ned Filigree swear an affidavit if said evidence is to be accepted. For the court, I can state that I'm Ned Filigree. This court can establish via v. Customs documents that your name is actually Guybrush Stripwood. Seriously, who would ever name their kid Guybrush? In light of this new evidence, I hereby sentence Stan to 10 years of hard labor in the ice quarry with no chance of parole. Please retain this legally binding documents for your records. What's up, Stan the man? Here, Stan. I think this is your toothbrush? Sweet gingerbread cake, that's old Bessie, all right. I'm much obliged. Uh, 
Uh, I have some disturbing news about your sentence. Ten years? Oh no, I got to a month standing on my head, but not ten years. You gotta get me out of here. Consider it done. Hey, Stan. You gotta get me out of here, son. I can't do ten years. I can read the serial number. I'll copy it down. Hello. They're slimy and pointy. I'd like to trade my fish in for some slime heads. Stout fellow. I'll put it on your tab. Thanks.
Hey! Thanks. It looks like you tried to cook the book instead of the recipe. Oh well, I should be thankful I'm getting it back at all. Next time you can just put it in the bookshelf yourself. Can I borrow this book? Fine, fine. Thanks. I won't let you down. I'll definitely return this. Seen the line of people outside? Those are citizens who were affected by the quake. Elaine was here to help me set up a program, but there isn't any money in the coffers to support the relief effort. I'm basically handing out IOUs. I don't really have anything to say. I just like doing this. Practice is nice, but I'm busy these days. Governor stuff. there. Hello. Can you make me a key from this serial number? Sure. A shackle key, eh? Special extreme cold hardened version. They don't even make these shackles anymore. I guess you've had them a while? Oh, yeah. They've been in my family for generations. than ever to finding the secret of Monkey Island. I'm not any closer to caring about it. You should probably put out the rest of these flames. Thanks, I'll do that. Stanarino! Ah, freedom. Now let's get out of here before they come by to refrost the shackles. I'd like to ask you for a favor in return. It has to do with limes and scurvy. I'm so glad you could come, Mr. Stanman. Always happy to help out a fellow entrepreneur in a non-competing industry. We'll start with branding. Lime is the residue in a bathtub. It's thin, it's unappealing. Saying it out loud sounds like whining. We need something with sizzle, with edge, like razor bombs or sour bombs or something. I see what you mean. Guybrush, you were once a young man with adrenaline issues. What do you think? Zebrafruit. I like it, I like it. You've got a future, son. Your promo flyer has also got to go. Now let me just show you what I'm thinking. We want snake oil, crystal vibrations. The more miraculous and improbable it sounds, the better. I'm not sure I'm comfortable with lying. Then we won't put it into words. We'll use a picture. Pictures don't lie, they imply. Guybrush, if Saberfruit could do anything in the world for you, what would you want it to be? Find the secret of Monkey Island? Skybrush! That's good, but I'm thinking more along the lines of a superpower. Amazing strength? Good, yes! 
muscles on your muscles. Now, lastly, we need a call to action. Get cold, or go dark, or take that! Those don't mean anything. Don't need to. It's just a short, punchy slogan that sounds like you're supposed to do something right now. Hmm. Go more. Short, catchy, and meaningless. It's like you've done this before. This is your new flyer. Show people this, and they'll be begging for your product. Name your price, firstborn, anything. Actually, we'll be giving them away. This is a public health initiative. What? Well, now that's just crazy talk. You don't give away the prize bull just because people need bulls, if you follow me. I'm definitely sensing some bull here, if you follow me. Well, it's about time to close anyway. You can mail me my cut. I'm out of here. Don't follow me. Your cut? Now, wait just a minute. I'll just borrow this for a little while. Hello? Anyone up there patrolling the deck? Ready to kick me into the sea? Sounds like the coast is clear. I hope. Unless it's a trap. You are a disgrace to the pirating profession. I'm more focused on the staying alive profession right now, thanks. So far, so good. So, um, obviously I'm actually Guybrush Threepwood. Pleased to meet you. Again. I assume that's your real skin this time? Yeah. Sorry for tricking you with the other two. Two? Uh, one. Math's not my best subject. Either way, don't worry about it. You're LeChuck's rival, not mine. I've got better things to worry about. Also, I enjoyed the book you brought me. Where is everybody? Flambe's up in the crow's nest. Odds are he's sleeping. Iron Rose said she was running an errand. The rest went with LeChuck on that other ship. Would that be Captain Madison's ship? I think that's right. Interesting. Uh, don't tell LeChuck I was here, okay? Hey, no, 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 don't worry. I wouldn't want to risk making him that angry. He gets a bit, um, scary. Hang in there, Bob. Hmm. Still not funny. Hey, Bob. Would you like to read this book? It's about a voyage that never ends. Sounds interesting. And long. Here's your joke book back. That ought to give it some zip.
in the defender's chair, the cast iron stomach of Othina the Ninth, reigning Queen of Bermuda, and undisputed heartiness champion! <laughs> And in the challenger's chair, all the way from the Southern Caribbean, still in possession of nearly all of his original teeth, the newcomer, Guybrush Threepwood. If you would each now select your first fish and place it on the plate in front of you. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Please place your fish on the plate. Ah. There is no talking to the judge during challenges. Ooh. It's filled with slime head and demon head. Ah. Ooh. This ah. may be a bit spicy. And now, let the eating commence! <laughs> well, it seems that both contestants are having some trouble. I declare this contest a draw. Contestants may now seek medical attention if they so desire. I ought to give it some zip. If you would each now select your first fish and place it on the plate in front of you. Ooh. Ah. Ah. Ooh. Mr. Threepwood, we are waiting for you to place your fish on the plate. And now, let the eating commence. <laughs> Two bites? That's more than she ate, right? I can stop now? Uh, no. Yes, you can stop if you like. Ladies and gentlemen, your new champion of hardiness with two bites to the Queen Swan is Mr. Threepwood! <laughs> Only one more contest to go. Ladies and gentlemen, for your viewing pleasure, we present, for only the 11th time this week, the Contest of Seriousness. Yip, yip. Yip, 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 yip. Oh. On this side, the reigning queen, Odina the Ninth of Bermuda. And on this side, the challenger, Guybrush Threepwood, currently unemployed and of no fixed address. If you will all come to order, the contest will begin. The first contestant to laugh is the loser. Have you heard the one about the guy who put an ice cube on a scurvy dog? He said it was chilly. Is that the best you've got? What did the demon say when he stepped on a pitchfork? <laughs> I've never heard that one before. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner is Guybrush Threepwood. Where Yay! did you get that book? I'm uh, confiscating this. Oh. 
citizens of Bermuda, Mr. Guybrush Threepwood has somehow successfully bested our beloved Queen Odina at all three of our traditional challenges. We are gathered to complete an orderly and peaceful transfer of power. Should I sit on the throne or something? There are some customary vows. Vows? Nobody mentioned any vowing. Will you faithfully uphold the honor and dignity of Bermuda in your every thought and deed? Sure. And will you promise to enforce and obey the laws of Bermuda? Of course. Do you swear to defend and protect the people of Bermuda, sacrificing your own life or limbs if necessary? That. Okay, I guess so. And will you gracefully accept all challenges to your hardiness, your seriousness, and your intelligence? No problem. Very well. Citizens of Bermuda, your new queen, Guybrush Threepwood. Congratulations. If you want my advice, I... Give me the crown already. I hope you like spending all your time doing the three challenges. Because that's basically what your job is now. I'm off to write my memoirs. Um, as your queen, I've decided to reshape the government as a worker-owned collective. That's why I've symbolically destroyed the crown. Why don't you all take a key? You get a key. And you get one. And you! Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got places to be. Report. Alive? How is that possible? Someone saw him talking to an old crone on Low Street. I confirmed it myself. I'm more concerned about the crone than Threepwood. Who is she? Just some old bag of bones. Don't worry about her. I took care of her. Excellent. She did have a key on her. A big, fancy gold one. Do you want it? No, no. We don't need the key. We have a better way. Just put it where Threepwood won't get it. Like where? I don't care! Use your imagination! Yes, Captain. Now, I have another task for you. You'll need to pick up a few things from our ship on the way. <laughs> <laughs> 